We're at the 2019 CROI in Seattle. We're here with Pietro Vanessa, who is bringing us information that followed up from the Swiss statement. And uh, for our community, just to send, get a sense of what it is that you're doing. Okay, in 2008, we were publishing this Swiss statement in Switzerland telling Swiss physicians it's okay to inform your patients that once an HIV-infected individual is under fully suppressive treatment, he or she is not infectious. At the time, that statement was heavily attacked, um, and, and people would either say, oh, it's true, but you cannot tell um, to, the, to the patients, or it's not true. Now, the evidence we had that for uh, was that we haven't seen any observed cases, and of course there was also some additional evidence from epidemiological studies and, and also biological evidence that supported us and made us um, uh, sufficiently um, confident, confident that, yeah, that, that we could make the statement. Now, we're very glad that in the, in the next years we had more and more and prospective studies that have supported this um, statement. It was first uh, 052 study in 2011 that was showing that in, in a prospective study, randomized study, you would not see any any cases when an individual is, cases of transmission when an individual is under fully suppressive part. The same then um, partner study, which um, the last bigger part was was um, presented last year and all this information took a long time to get out to the public. In Switzerland we informed our patients in 2008 and they were happy. We didn't have any more convictions for non-disclosure of HIV because you cannot transmit it and we also did um, uh, couples ha could conceive ch uh, children naturally in Switzerland, but the rest of the world did not mm -hmm. didn't, accept that. Didn't embrace it, yeah. and, and now, I think with the U equals U campaign, that um, you know there was more raised awareness for for that um, truth, and and also with the with the studies that have supported um, what we have claimed or assumed, mm -hmm. you may say. Um, now we know, I mean, if you're under a very well treat, a suppressed treatment, you're, you will not infect anybody. Right, and, and we just had another presentation being presented on that same subject. And it's, it's, it's very profound at this point. We're at the point where it's indisputable. And I think being that the community has been so supportive of this, it's uh, at least most of the community has to tell the other half of the community that, that is still in denial or whatever you want to call it, uh, to get on the ball and say, you know, this is really important information. Treatment is prevention. Yeah. yeah. So, well, we appreciate the work that you're doing, and I hope that we can continue to see more people be aware of the truth. That's important. I think it's very this important. Is, I, that's why I call this the educational conference. Okay. We need what, what we have going to be more of it and a little more impactful. So... I think it's very important, and it's also important that the, not only in people in, involved or affected by HIV and their partners, but also the, the, the complete risk. public should mm -hmm. understand mm -hmm. um, these these consequences, and mm -hmm. that will also reduce stigma for HIV, which is absolutely, I think is absolutely, absolutely it's important. really important. And I appreciate you bringing the message. And re repounding that that to the to the people that need to know it. I, of course, it's the choir here, but beyond, it's it's really a matter of getting it out, get the word out. Thank you very much, Pietro. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.